once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. I'm just gonna get down to brass tacks here. The Post is a movie from Steven Spielberg, the greatest film director of all time, starring Meryl Streep, the most Oscar-nominated actor of all time, and Tom Hanks, one of the most beloved actors of our generation, and counts among the members of its cast some of the most beloved character actors of our day, including, but not limited to, Pat Healy, Alison Brie, Michael Stuhlbarg, Zach Woods, Jesse Plemons, married couple Tracy Letts and Carrie Coon, Brad Whitford, Bruce Greenwood, Sarah Paulson, and both members of Mr. Show. And yes, those two guys do share the screen a few times. In addition to all of that, it's also a period piece that depicts true heroic journalism that strives for truth in the face of government cover-up. And it serves as sort of a backdoor prequel to one of my favorite films about journalism, All the President's Men. Having said all of that, it's no surprise that The Post is one of the year's best films. Heck, Having said all that, the real surprise would be if it wasn't one of the year's best films. I've seen plenty of movies that surprised me in 2017, but I'm happy to report that The Post is not one of those movies because I expected it to be great given the pedigree involved, and by goodness it really was. Meryl Streep stars as Kay Graham, the owner of the Washington Post, who is at a crossroads in her personal and professional lives. She's just about to take her paper public in order to keep it afloat, and she's got legendary newsman Ben Bradley, played here by Tom Hanks, doing his darndest to turn the Post into a world-class newspaper by chasing down stories, even though the time is coming when they will have to determine whether the personal relationships that they have developed with a lot of political powerhouses like Kennedy and Robert McNamara were vital to obtaining access or just dangerous conflicts of interest. Now, during a one-week window in which the investors have the opportunity to pull out of the IPO and financially ruin the paper, aka this is walking on eggshells time, a bombshell drops when a report known as the Pentagon Papers, which exposes lies, cover-ups, and embarrassing truths about the current and previous four presidential administrations, gets stolen and leaked. Now, with pressure from investors, the government, and their own consciences, this group of reporters must hunt down those documents and then, and even more importantly, decide whether or not to publish them. The stakes are high, including the collapse of the paper, loss of access to the political elite, implosion of personal relationships, and even potential jail time. And it's a credit to the script and to Spielberg's storytelling abilities that not only is each beat easy to understand, it's thoroughly gripping drama. Steven Spielberg reportedly threw this movie together in just a few months, simultaneously with doing post-production on the upcoming Ready Player One. And you can feel the urgency here. This movie, at less than two hours, is briskly paced and consists of a lot of scenes where very smart people talk to each other in cramped rooms and over the telephone. Spielberg, working with his frequent collaborator Janusz Kominski, really lets the camera work, the shot selection, do a lot of the heavy lifting in telling his story. The rest of the heavy lifting is done by a talented and diverse cast, who each get a moment to shine. Nobody, not Spielberg, not Meryl Streep, not even composer John Williams, nobody rests on their laurels or their legacy. No, everyone here is actually living up to their legacy, and they've delivered, seemingly in record time, a vibrant and bold movie with serious parallels to current events, which is optimistic without being preachy, and educational without sacrificing entertainment value. I award the post an extra large bag of popcorn. It's a history lesson, it's an acting showcase, it's a window into the past, and it's a reminder of what it is to be a proud and patriotic American. In short, it's pretty much a magic trick, and, and it's a magic trick presented by the single greatest purveyor of movie magic the world has ever seen, or probably ever will see. Well, that does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and support us, please, by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the post in the comments as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and if we don't hold them accountable, who will?